Hi guys! Happy Advanced Valentine's Day! Are you guys excited for the big day? Um, I'm going to do a tutorial today and this is going to be my Valentine's Day makeup look tutorial. And uh, this is a highly highly requested video. I think a lot of you guys want to find ideas on what kind of looks to create. So I was actually thinking in the beginning to actually do a more girly kind of pinkish rosy kind of look but then I realized that a lot of people have already done that so if you are looking more towards that kind of look you can always do a quick search you have tons of Valentine's Day rosy pinkish kind of looks out there either on Instagram or on YouTube so you'll be able to find a lot of inspiration from that so I decided to create a more purplish kind of look and purple is one of my favorite colors it's actually my husband's favorite color but I think over the years it has sort of become one of my favorites as well so so I decided to create this look and it's I have two different lipsticks that I tried on. Um, one is a more nudish lipstick which is the Rev uh, both are Revlon Matte um, Lip Balms which are the new ones that they've came out with. I got these in Guardian. I think they're about $19.90 each. So this one is in the colour Sultry and I did have this look on at the beginning. So this will be perfect for the daytime because Cupid has decided to make Valentine's Day this year year on a Friday so most of us would either be in school or will be at work so during the daytime maybe you don't want to rock such a bold purple lip you can actually go ahead and um, do this look with a more neutral nude kind of shade and I used this one and I for the night time I basically will be changing it up to this one which is the purple one it's called shameless and this is literally like the one that you know when I saw the whole collection I definitely wanted to get this one so that's how it looks like and it's very very moisturizing to wear very minty so I really like these lip balms and um, yeah depending on what you prefer you can either use this you know on the nighttime if you want as well or you can even rock this out on the daytime like how I'm gonna do today so um, other than that, some of the couple of new products that I use, I actually tried out this Too Cool For School pop-up mascara which is in, um, I think the name of it is Dino Plats and you will see in the video um, that the packaging is really really freaking cute and I really really like this. It's quite an expensive mascara, it's about $37 I think or 30 ish which is like the price of your Tarte mascaras or your Urban Decay mascaras so I had very high expectations for this and and it definitely met those expectations because um, the eyelashes just really just went up there all the way up there so yeah that's uh, basically the look that I created um, the eyes are pretty much just mostly purple colors uh, with a little bit of uh, darker blue colors so I use the Judy Time palette and I absolutely love it so you don't necessarily have to use that particular palette you just use any kind of palette that has you know a combination of different kind of purples together so yeah that's so enough rambling I'm gonna leave you to the tutorial and wishing you a very very fantastic and lovely Valentine's Day. I hope you guys all enjoy yourself no matter what you will be doing that day because you know to each its own right some people want to go out for dinner some people want to stay at home and have a quiet night some just want to stay home and play around with makeup I mean there's nothing wrong with it right <laughs> just kidding so um, yeah I hope you guys have a wonderful day and now on to the tutorial Okay, so we're gonna get started with putting on some BB cream. This is the YSL BB cream. It's the top secret BB cream that has SPF and all that good stuff. So I'm putting that all across my face and my neck and then taking this Samantha Chapman buffing brush and blending that BB cream into my skin. So next we're going to conceal some dark eye circles and I'm using this Boeing Benefit Concealer and just putting that under my eyes to cover my dark circles. So for bronzing, I'm using this blush called the Soft Meow from MAC and I'm using this e.l.f. pointed brush and putting it into the sunken parts of my cheeks and also above the temples. 
Then I'm taking this gorgeous orange blush color from MAC called Peaches and putting that onto my cheeks and just putting it and patting it down really. I'm not really brushing it across. So it's always important to kind of set all that face foundation and all that good stuff. So I'm using my usual sheer loose powder from Bobbi Brown and using the Sigma uh, big fluffy brush to kind of just blend it all across my face. So as usual for eyebrows, these are my holy grail products and link to my eyebrow tutorial is down below. So moving on to the eyes, I'm using this primer potion from Urban Decay. I don't usually use this but because I'm going to be using the color tattoo, for the Maybelline color tattoo, I'm going to just use this as a base for all of that. So I'm just putting it that all over my eyes and up to the brow bone as well. So to kickstart this purplish look that we are going to have for the eyes, I'm taking this colour tattoo from Maybelline in the colour Painted Purple. It looks really intense in the bottle but actually it's quite okay when you blend it out. It's actually quite pleasant to just wear it like that. And um, this will basically give a very very good uh, base to the colour purple, that the purple colour that you're going to be putting and of course some lip syncing there. I think I was listening to a Beyonce song. <laughs> So once that's done, I'm taking my It's Judy Time palette and using this blending brush from Sigma, I'm just taking the sort of peachy colour as a transition colour and at the same time, I'm using this method to just sort of blend out the colour tattoo that I have there because when I used it with just my fingers, it was a little bit harsh. So blending that out and then taking this deep dark blue purple color and putting it into the outer crease of my eye. The blue didn't really pop out as much as I wanted to but it definitely gave like a deeper look to this um, purple color that I already have there. Then going back with that transition colour, just blending all that together so that it all doesn't look too harsh. Next, I'm taking this gorgeous bright purple colour and with this packing brush, I'm just going to pack this onto my eyelids like that. So I'm just cleaning up everything and blending it out again with a blending brush and then going back again with the bright purple colour in a bit to just kind of make sure that I top up the colour because some of it might have been lost in the process. So if you really want your eyelid colours to pop, you got to go back again and just top it up again. So with a clean blending brush, I'm using this outer V sort of motion to just blend everything up to three quarters of my um, the area above my eyes just to make sure that everything blends out very nicely together. Okay, so going with this sort of off-white colour, I'm just putting that on the brow bones just to make my brow bones a little bit highlighted than they are at the moment. So just to clean up the sides of the eyes, I want it to be a very nice, clean, um, straight line. So I'm putting a cotton bud over the end of a brush because I was too lazy to find my cotton bud. And I'm just putting a little bit of makeup remover and just putting it up. I'm kind of just following the shape of my eyebrows there, if you can see. Um, just going back with some concealer because there's a little bit of eyeshadow fallout and I just want it to be cleaned up right there. And then with my trusty Silky Girl Precision Eyeliner in black, I'm just doing a very simple line across there.
Next, we're going to go back with that bright purple colour and just putting it into the inner corner of my lower lids just to kind of put it all together with the top part of the lids as well. And then going back with that dark blue colour and putting that into the outer corner of my lower lids. To finish off the face, I'm going back with this uh, Select Sheer Press Powder by MAC which is my absolute favourite and then just topping up the blush colour with the same colour that I used earlier which is Peaches by MAC. So for highlighting, I'm using my favourite favourite highlight uh, powder and this is Superb from MAC. It is a mineralised finish and I absolutely love it. So I'm using like a dome shaped brush and putting it into the high points of my face. Setting it all with the Urban Decay Fixing Spray like so. And once the hair and everything is all done, I'm taking this mascara from Too Cool for School. And the packaging is really really cute on this and the mascara is a little bit pricey, it's like $36. I think and um, but I found it to be quite worth it because it really lengthens the eyelashes there I almost have no eyelashes so for it to lengthen it like that it's pretty good it's just a little bit wet so you got to be careful when you are applying this particular eye eyeshadow no this particular mascara so if you want a more neutral sort of lips, you can actually um, consider this particular Revlon Matte Lip Balm in the colour Sultry and I absolutely love this lip balm, it's very very moisturising and this colour is very pinkish, very coralish um, and really really good if you want to use it during the daytime. So if you're like me and you want to vamp it up a little bit for the night time, what you can do is you can remove that colour and then prime your lips again with this Maybelline Baby Lips colour. And with this darker purplish colour called Shameless, you can go ahead and just apply that to your lips. I absolutely love this colour. It's so purplish and so vampy. It just reminds me of something a villain would wear. I don't know why I would find this suitable for Valentine's Day, but maybe you're like me and you would find it suitable as well. So so yeah, that basically completes the night look. Heck, I would wear this in the day as well. So that's the look you guys. This is my Violet Valentine's Day look. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and have an amazing Valentine's Day. Um, I don't know what I was talking to myself there for but that's the complete look. And uh, please like this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. So take care everyone. Bye!